Collard Greens and Gravy are celebrating their 20th anniversary and they're doing it with a one-off show here at the Spotted Mallard in Brunswick. I'm joined with Ian Collard. How's it going, mate? Uh, good to see you. Awesome. Um, now, uh, 20 years, it's uh, in, in the Blues and Roots scene. Is there anything special we can sort of expect for the uh, for the show? Yeah, we've got quite a few things in mind, actually. Well, firstly, we've got um, Jeff Lang is going to come down and play guitar. Mm-hmm. Um, we've known Jeff for quite a long time now and he's played with us several times over the years. Yep. My wife, Susanna Espy, is going to be coming and singing a few songs as well. Great. She's someone else who's had a long association with singing with us and playing with us. Um, and the other thing we want to do is probably just kind of revisit some of the old st- um, songs. Yep. And the other thing we've been talking about is um, when we started off, we were more of an acoustic kind of act and the drummer played a washboard and had a, a suitcase for a kick drum. Yep. And, you know, we might sort of do part of the show stripped back and right, kind of with okay. that style as well. Awesome. Uh, what kind of response do you get from people with that stripped back style of... Yeah, as you said, like playing with the washboard and, and with the kick drum is, uh, that is essentially a suitcase. Well, it'll be interesting because we haven't done it for a long time. Yeah. You know? But I think, you know, we're hoping um, that a lot of our old uh, fans will be here who might have remembered us from that era, who yeah. might, you know, um, enjoy hearing, you know, having some memories of the way we used to sound. Great, awesome. Uh, now, uh, over your 20 years, you've released five albums yep. and uh, received one ARIA award as well for that back in 2001. Uh, what would you rate as, as being one of the highlights over your career? Is there anything that sort of stood out in particular for the band? Yeah, well, that, that year 2001 was particularly good actually because. Um, we went to America and competed in the International Blues Challenge and came second in, in that in Memphis. Yep. And we did a, a six-week trip around America just doing little bar gigs and stuff. Yeah. And then we came back and um, got the ARIA Award. So both of those things were, were big surprises and, uh, you know... Yeah, there, there's obviously a huge scene over in, in America, especially in the South and, like, Memphis areas like that. Uh, do you find that the reception to your style of music is, is bigger in the States than it is in Australia? Oh, look, you know, there's more people in America, yep. you know, so, and they're more accustomed to this kind of music. So if you do get in front, I mean, you know, there's more potential to get in front of bigger crowds. I mean, generally, we've done everything from street gigs in on Beale Street to um, some, a few large festivals. Yep. And, um, yeah, the response has always been really good. Um, but, you know, if, if you get it in front of a good audience in Australia too, that's, they respond equally as well. Yeah. Well, uh, Blues and Roots, I mean, taking it way back to, like, the 50s, uh, blues has been quite an influential genre for modern-day rock and pop. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so do you think that it, it's treated serious enough nowadays in the mainstream, sort of blues roots music? Um... It's not mainstream music at all, you know, it's niche music and it kind of always has been that way. And, um, you know, that's okay, it's not everyone's cup of tea. Um, it t- tends to be an older audience, mostly. Yep. But, um, you know, there's lots of great festivals all around Australia yep. putting on this kind of music and there's lots of people turning up and, um, you know, there's enough of a scene here in Australia in the blues and roots world for a, a band like us to have kept going for 20 years. Yeah, it's great. And, and it seems like, uh, like say, uh, the blues festival in Byron Bay seems to be getting stronger and stronger by the year. Mm. Do you think that? Do you think that uh, blues and roots is kicking on again? It, it seems to be getting stronger. Oh, look, I think maybe over the years more people become more used to um, that that sound. I mean, when we started off. Um, there weren't as many festivals. Blue, the Byron Bay Blues and Roots Festival was tr- pretty much strictly only a blues festival. Yeah. And um, this term roots has sort of grown in the last 20 years. Yeah. And you've got the John Butlers and Xavier Rudds and all those kind of guys who've really kind of um, gone, you know, gone into 
had lots of success with that kind of sound and so I think you know um, and now you're seeing lots of other people follow on in their footsteps and uh, so yeah I, it'd be fair to say that you know it is slowly growing I think. Well that's always good news. Uh, now over the uh, the next few years uh, what are we looking at doing is there going to be more music for uh, Collard Greens and Gravy or are you thinking of winding it up and just just doing more of these shows or? Oh look, I want to be more selective about what we do. Mm -hmm. um, we've spent 20 years, you know, in bars around Brunswick predominantly mm -hmm. and doing festivals and touring and stuff like that. And, um, you know, uh, we still love doing all those kinds of things, but there's only so much you can, you know, really do of that before people start to get sick of you. So mm -hmm. it's nice to have a special event like this where we can, you know, change, you know, have something that's got a bit of a different appeal. Yeah, people, you know? yeah that's great. Yeah. Well, uh, all the best for the, the show on the 12th yep. and uh, for the future as well. Uh, so thank you very much for joining us, Ian. No worries. Thanks a lot. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Cheers.